Hello everyone, it's Brandy Janae. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. Welcome to today's Coffee Wednesday. If you would like to see how all of this plays out, please be sure to stay tuned. Okay, you guys, welcome back for another Coffee Wednesday. Again, my name is Brandy Janae. And before we get started, let's go ahead and read our quote for the day. It says, you might never know the ripple effect of your generosity this side of heaven, but every good kind act produces in multitudes. I love that. I love that, love that, love that. I do consider myself to be a very generous person. So not with any expectation of getting any types of rewards or anything. I just like giving. <laughs> It just, it brings me joy to give. So, um, but yeah, I like that. So anyway, in case you are new, this is from Bloom Paper Planners. I do always have that link in the description box below. So if you're interested in getting anything from them and seeing all the amazing other things that they have, definitely go check them out. I have my coffee binder and my coffee challenge. But before I get into this, I want to show you some new releases that are coming well, they'll be listed by the time you see this video. So up first, I made another game. I'm so excited about this one. I'm calling this one Stitches for Riches. So thank you, May, for helping me come up with a name for this. This is going to be basically like, this is the um, A5 dashboard. No, yeah. And then the A6 dashboard. Now I can't even think of sizes. Um, but yeah, so this is basically like a variation of operation so you have your left arm so i put down roll and save but you know my challenge is you really don't have to do anything there are zero rules so there's cards for every single body part and then there's a few extra cards in here that will just have you save some additional money but they're not related to one of the body parts um but again you choose how you would like to do this so you can do a roll and save so if you pull up you know this little bolt um, then you, or nut, what's this, the nuts? I don't know. Anyway, if you pull this card, then you can either A, roll and save, or you can decide each one of these is a certain denomination and then keep track of those numbers here. So you have your arm in the tools and then in the head, of course, coffee, <laughs> boba tea, regular tea, because yeah, that's what keeps our, that's what keeps my head clear. <laughs> then you have your right arm. I put some insects in there. Your torso, snacks, because duh, tacos and fries, psh, what else would be in your belly? And then you have your left leg, which has some zoo animals. And then your right leg has some kitchen appliances. So I wanted to keep them all. I thought about mixing everything up, but I just thought it would be easier to keep track if every part had like a theme. So that way, you know, it would be easier to keep the cards coordinated. So again, you would get cards for each one. Oh, that's a corner um to go for each challenge and then that is it i am super excited about it i'm going to start playing it in august so this is what is going to be replacing my butterfly challenge um so let's see let's say i had we're just gonna we're gonna just look at it real quick um, a lovely, beautiful customer reached out to me yesterday because I have already actually listed this as a digital item. And so she reached out to me yesterday asking if I was going to go through it. So here we are. I did tell her that I would be showing you guys this today. So here are my cards. I would pick one. This says right arm. We go find the right arm. Now, when you see this again, it'll be in a binder, but I'm not going to set that up today because that's not the purpose of this video. So I have my spider, my right arm, and even with the die, I have a D10, I have your D6, I have a D12, I have a, what's the other ones I have? I think I have a, that's a 12. Uh, and then I made a little four-sided die. I know some of you guys have 20, some of you have, you know, just different sizes. So in real life, you don't even have to roll a D6. Like you can choose one of the other ones. So if your budget is higher and you want to roll a D12 and save $11, <laughs> do you, boo? <laughs> 
I'm not going to do that <laughs> because I am in the low income persuasion, but it is totally, hey, knock yourself out. If you got a D20, <laughs> do you. Shoot, if you real fancy, if you real fancy, you got the money, money, money. I have this super exciting one, and this is from Beijing Girl Budgets, and this goes all the way up to 30. So, I mean, if you just balling, you know what I'm saying? Hey, psh, pull it out. It don't matter. Whatever whatever you need to do. Again, if you're like, oh, Brandy, I only got like $10 a week, make these ones. Don't even worry about it. One, 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 and keep it moving. So, yeah, whatever is works best for you do that again the goal on this channel is always to save i don't care how you do it i don't care how much you do just do it that's it that's it so this is available right now digitally <sighs> i'm still debating on the physical guys i'm still <laughs> i'm still debating on physical items but right now the digital download is available and next which i'm so excited about these we have magnets. So they're like magnet page markers. Um, so this is an IOU slip with the little magnet on there. And they are double-sided. And I cannot think of which video I watched <laughs> right now, but it was showing you how to make these. And I just thought it was the cutest thing. And I felt like it would be really great for our budgeting. So... But I'm, I think that these will be super cute because you can, they are laminated. So you are able to, you know, reuse them. And so it's just a variation of the IOU slips that, you know, most of us unfortunately end up using. So yeah, I just thought they were cute. So there's that one. And then we have the little savings pig. And of course, where would I be without a taco? So boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so for instance, if you had, uh, you know, this, I'm just going to take this one because it's right here. I have this challenge here and I owe it $5. So I will just clip that there and write the $5 on there. And it's cute. So just something a little bit different. So anyway, these will also be available in my shop. So if you're interested, definitely check the description box for the link. And yeah, happy shopping. All right, now let's get to what we came here for. Move these to the side. And by the side, I mean my bed because I film in my room. <laughs> All right, so I need a D6. Um, let's use this one. And we're gonna I feel like the light is not hold on okay we're gonna just we're gonna do some artificial light today because it's not very sunny outside but I feel like you guys can never see my actual dice maybe if we put it over here okay let's see how much money we have today we are working with 5 10 15 20 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 30 as usual. And let me check to make sure we're still filming. Okay, great. All right, so I always start here with the box. This is also available. I do have a few of these left, not a bunch. So if you're interested, definitely go check those out. How many cards? Oh, we only have one more card left after this one. Yay! I kind of want to finish it. <laughs> now that I know that, I kind of want to finish it. I'm trying to get as many challenges done by the end of the month as possible. All right, so we got a four. Oh, I don't know what the other number is. Um. Oh, I can wait because there's one more. There's one more Wednesday this month, so it'll be fine. One more Wednesday in July. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so I'll just, I'll finish it the next time. All right, so let's get a five. I'm sure there's a one in here. Yep. Put that in there. And pop that under here. Okay, that one's done. And then we need to pick a card. This challenge is from... Maria over it. She's got it. Kenya. 
Do, 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 do. Five dollars. Okay. That's not bad. So we're going to cross off. The five. Ah, do I want to go again? That's how I always get in trouble. We're going to do another one. <laughs> please be low. Please be low. Okay, Colombia. No Brazil today, Maria. <laughs> All right, Colombia. We got. Oh, good. Another five. Okay. I was a little nervous. We can work with fives. So we put that there. And that is the end of that. All right. And then last but not least, we have our coffee challenges. Let me move this out of the way. All right. So in number one, we have this one from Maria. And number two, we have this one from Claudine at Foxy Finances. This one is from, oops, my Etsy shop. This one is from Maria at She's Got It in the number four spot. Oh, you guys, I still keep forgetting to look this up. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I, yeah, every time I finish filming, I get distracted and then I forget. So there's number five. And then this is number six. And this is from Pedago Budgets. So there we go. If you make challenges, please, 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 please put your name on them, friends. I, I'm guilty. I am guilty of it. I'm not judging because when I first started making challenges, I didn't put my name on anything. Um, so I am definitely guilty and I totally understand, but if you are making challenges moving forward, <laughs> if you could put your names on the front, that would be amazing because people like me, we forget to go look and then it messes up our video. So let's see what we got. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Ooh, this is going to be short. We're just going to mix that in there. All right. This is going to be a short one. Four, one, two, four, two, and four. Wow. Okay. So nothing here. Put that one. That's going to have to kind of stay in the number six spot just because. Well, no, I guess not. Okay. So we're gonna put this one in number one. I like to mix them up. Number two, didn't get anything. We'll put this one here in number five. All right, and then let's go through the rest of them. This one got one, two, three, four, five, six, sweet. So two, four, six. Almost finished with this one. We will put this one in number three. This one got five, six, seven, eight. So that's fun. Um, let's use. Oh, this is gonna be bright. Oh well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. These are zebra doodlers. I think, I don't even know where I got these from, you guys. But I really like them. I have no idea where these came from, though. I think I, think I got them in Chicago at the Chicago Planner Conference because I did sit at the zebra table but i just found them <laughs> so i was like oh i'm gonna pull those out so yeah i think i got them in chicago though at the chicago planner conference but either way i love them one two three four five six seven eight that looked like a lot 
five, six, eight. Okay. I don't know. It just looked like a lot of circles. So that one got started this week, which is awesome. And then last but not least, this one got two. We don't have any. There's no twos. So I'm going to just leave this up front. And then once we get some more money, we'll be able to do one, hopefully. All right, you guys, that is it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not already done so and hit the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I post a new video. You guys are amazing. Thank you for being here as always. Be safe, be kind, or be quiet and be well. And I'll catch you in the next one.